Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I've got a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. These are items that I bought low and sold for $35 or less. These are items to be on the lookout for when you're at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores. Uh, some of these items, I, I don't, yep, YouTube. I've got some from YouTube, mystery boxes. And sometimes I do some Facebook. I don't know if there's any from Facebook on here or not. But I source anywhere and everywhere. I It's my favorite thing to do is buy stuff. If your favorite thing to do of being a reseller is sourcing, let me know in the comments. Now, I will tell you my second favorite thing is listing. I absolutely love to list. I know people are like, I hate to list. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I actually love to list. Um, I need to do more of it because I've been sourcing way too much this summer. So I'm going to get started here. I've got 29 bread and butter bolos coming your way. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, the first one. I picked these up at, it was a local estate sale just run by the family. And I thought these were pretty. I I thought they were old, but I'm not so sure. I don't know, but they weren't as cool as I thought. And now that I'm like looking at this picture, the paint is kind of like rubbing off. It looks like maybe a kid drew on this. Somebody told me um, they're just mass produced. I have no idea. But anyway, I just put hand painted. I don't know. Question mark. Large knobs. A lot of two. I honestly can't believe they sold because my title is awful. Um, but I have a tendency to sometimes just if I don't know, I just put a question mark because I don't want somebody to be like, oh, she deceived us, you know. So uh, I sold these for $14.80. The buyer was all in for $29.59. So they were kind of heavy duty there. The next item, okay, I kind of love this one because this is an item that I almost just donated. And I was like, you know, somebody is going to need these drumsticks. So these come with, it comes with a drum and these other instruments inside the drum. And I think, I think I listed the instruments separately, but I'm like, I'm going to list these drumsticks separately. And I did. And they sold really pretty quickly. Like it amazed me, honestly. I thought I was going to be sitting on these for years. Sold for $7.50. The buyer was all in for $14.02. They came out of a mystery box. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Would I recommend like it as a home run? No, but it's a really easy to list bread and butter item. The next item I sold is another major bread and butter, but let me tell you about this. I listed one of these on a whim one time, and I'm like, I'm just going to list this cat. It's a little pet shop McDonald's toy from 1996. It's vintage. I'm like, somebody probably needs this for their collection. And I listed it, and it sold really fast. So I think, I think this is the second one that I listed. This might be the first one. I can't remember. I don't know. I'm getting it all confused. But it was still in my active solds. So what I did is I went and I hit sell similar and I listed it. Um, I just hit sell similar and I even use the same pictures. And I don't always do that unless I check the pictures and make sure the item looks the same because sometimes they'll have like a light scuff or, you know, something like that. I want to see if I have this listed. Um, it's a tiger. I can't remember if this is the first or the second one. I don't know why it even matters, but I really just, I really want to know. This is the second one. I thought it was. So yeah, I sold two of them really quick. Now, am I getting rich off this? No, but I sold it for five bucks and it took me literally like 20, 30 seconds to build it off of a previous listing. So I saw it and I knew I had sold one and it was super easy. So a uh, buyer was all in for $9.92 on that. The next item I sold is this ESC Company Heather Myers Christmas Snowman. It is retired. Um, here's what it says on the bottom. It's from 2002. I got this in a mystery box. 
and it sold pretty quickly for $18. The buyer was all in for $26.50. So I did take a best offer on that. The next item is this Christmas greeting card. And again, you guys, this is kind of, I said it in another video. <coughs> Sorry, like postcards or uh, black and white photographs. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are big money. But most always they end up selling. It just takes the right buyer. Um, these have like glitter on them. They were really pretty. I actually listed probably 10 to 15 of them. There was a whole set and I broke them down. And I think this is the last one to sell. Some of them sold for more. Um, nothing huge money, but easy to list, easy to ship. So most of you probably won't waste your time. I don't know if I'll waste my time in the future. I've had these listed a long time. And again, I think they all sold pretty quick. For some reason, this one hung around. I did have some duplicates, so that could have been part of the issue. $5.80, the buyer was all in with tax and shipping for $10.70. Okay, so this, if you ever see this girl, she is a My Scene doll. And I think it's still considered a Barbie. Sorry for her nudeness. Uh, she didn't have any clothes. Um, but she has her sunglasses and her earrings and her belt. So she's like ready to go. You know, who needs clothes, right? Kidding. Um, I took a best offer of $12 and 50 cents on her and the buyer paid shipping. Her makeup looks fantastic. Um, I did do a close up of her face partially because she didn't have clothes, but also, also to show her makeup. The next item is this Halloween monster face. Another one that I thought was going to sell quickly and it did not. It I sat on this for quite a while and maybe it was bad keywords. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I would buy it again and I just feel like it. it's, it's a monster. It's got weird hands as like ears. So I don't know. He's kind of weird, right? He's really creepy looking. So. He sold for $14. The buyer was all in for $25.14. Um, I bought Frankenstein suction cup things. So they suction cup to a window. Again, anything vintage Halloween, I'm going to pick it up and uh, try to sell it. So I, I think this is vintage. Maybe I should have put vintage in the title. I don't know. It's weird, right? I don't think it's like a character from anything. Uh, these splash bombs, I not sure where I picked these up. I think it was like a bulk buy, but somebody else said they thought I got it at that huge garage sale where I got everything free. So they could be right. I don't know. But this is like the third lot of them I've sold. This one was smaller, only 10 balls. Sold it for $10. The buyer was all in for $17.71. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for $2. It is a tank and it is a... Um, it's a kit and it's for parts because it has been partially put together, as you can see here. Um, but, you know, it still had a lot of things that were still on the actual, um, whatever this is called, the plastic card, we'll call it. And I ended up selling this for $24 and the buyer paid shipping and that sold pretty quickly. This item came from a Facebook marketplace haul. So it was one of those things where I was going to buy some stuff and they, I ended up bundling some of their other stuff and it was all just one big buy. So, um, not something I would have sourced, but it ended up selling for $18 and 75 cents. And the buyer paid shipping, which is pretty good. It's like Minnie Mouse bingo. So I'm glad I listed it. The next item I sold is this Cat's Meow Church. Um, you guys know that I pick up Cat's Meow uh, whenever I see it for really cheap. And when I say really cheap, I mean like 25 cents, 50 cents each, if that. I like to buy them in bulk. Um, I would probably not pay a dollar each. I probably wouldn't go that high unless I knew it was something special or unless I looked it up um, because most of these are bread and butter items. I did have one, I think that went for like $25, but um, that's not common. You can lot them up. So uh, that's another option. I took a best offer of $9 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item came out of a dibble box, which is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. I bought it from Donatella Bottolino on her YouTube channel. Um, this one was, I believe I ordered a $100 mystery box from her, and this is one of the items that came in it. I sold these alone for $30, and the buyer was all in for $34.80. If you would like to see what else was in this box, go over to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. I do an unboxing. Just put um, Dibble in my search bar, and it'll pull up any unboxing that I got from Donna that was a Dibble box. I also have some unboxings on this channel from her as well. So check that out. This guy right here is the PJ Masks transformation figure. It is Greg from um, PJ Masks. He's the gecko. So he is like a lizard type thing he turns into. But this is him before he's like transformed. And I sold this for $15. The buyer was all in for $20.39 for this figure. It does go with a specific playset. Um, so definitely be on the lookout. I picked this up at a garage sale for $0.25. Cents. The next item I sold is this Vintage King Features Jesco Popeye Olive Oil. She is like a bendy toy. She's about three inches tall from $19.89. I got her at a garage sale for a quarter and I sold her for $8.50 plus shipping. This little elf came from a garage sale. I paid a dollar for it. It sold pretty quickly. Um, it's kind of got the plastic face and the felt body. I sold it for $14 and the buyer was all in for $19.93. Here's another cat's meow. This one went for a little more at $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So the buyer was all in for $22.04. This is vintage. It's from 1996. So it's a little bit harder to find. It is from Zanesville, Ohio. So it's more of a specific. Did I not do a picture of the back where it says Zanesville? I don't think I did. I missed the picture. That's weird. Do you guys ever load your photos? Oh, here it is. Here it is. First National Bank Zanesville. So these are a little bit harder to find and more specific to a person looking for that state and city. The next item I sold are these Slither Bendable Worm Figures. No clue what they are, what they're for, what they do, but there's six of them here. And these came out of a mystery box, if I remember correctly, or I picked them up at a thrift store in like a little bag of toys. I sold these for $10 and the buyer was all in for $16.88. The next item came out of a mystery box. It is a Shimmer and Shine doll. She had like stickers on her face and I'm like, should I just donate this? I don't even want to mess with it. And I was like, I can get the stickers off of her face. So I did. I cleaned her up and I sold her for $12.50 and the buyer paid shipping. I did notice when I was looking up comparables, the ones with the hair are a little bit harder to find. The next one is this automobile magazine. So I picked up a whole bunch of these at a garage sale, super, super cheap. So I have hardly anything in this. I did do free shipping on these. Um, I took a best offer of $15 on this and the buyer was all in for $16.05 and I covered the shipping. So uh, you cannot ship this media mail because it is considered a magazine. It does have ads in it. So this must ship um, first class or priority mail depending on the weight. The next item is this Squishmallow Josie Rainbow Tie-Dye Sleepy Llama from Justice. It's an exclusive Justice one. And um, I picked this up at a garage sale. I got it. I was excited to find a Squishmallow. Got it home and it was really dirty on the bottom. And I was like, can I get this thing clean? So I ended up doing a video of me cleaning this item. And as you can see, it looks fantastic. So go check out that video. It is on this channel. I ended, that looks kind of funny. I ended up selling this for $27. The buyer was all in for $39.21 and I paid $3 for it. The next item came out of a mystery box that I got from a subscriber. Her name is Krista. She uh, reached out to me and asked me if she could send me a box of goodies. So I said, sure. And I unboxed it on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. If you want to check that out. Um, it's over there and just type in my search bar once you're over there, buddy mail. So um, I sold this little guy for $9 and the buyer was all in for $13.95. It is an American greetings buffle, 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 I think, plush dog. Never heard of it. 
you know, that's one thing I love about mystery boxes is I'm always educating myself on new things to look for. Right here is the little tag. So um, like Donatella Bottolino always says, somebody is looking for that. Even if it's just like a small little plush toy that's not a big money, somebody's looking for it. Somebody needs it. Somebody lost this toy and they need it. So you're helping somebody out by listing bread and butter. I love listing bread and butter. That's what this video is all about. These smalls add up to big profits. Um, if you start and you look at my monthly sales, a lot of my items are bread and butter. So my cost of goods is so low that that it just adds up to, to big profits. Speaking of low cost of goods, I picked this up at a thrift store and it was outside with the free stuff. Um, and I sold this for $16.50 plus shipping. Oh, they're uh, Mirax DVD case inserts. I'm not really sure what that means, but I, uh, there's two packs here. The next, And those sold fast, super fast. The next item is this vintage Mama Baby Bird brooch, black tone, uh, black, I'm sorry, gold tone, black enamel. And they've got like a red eye and it's cute. It's like a mama and her baby. And they sold for $22.49 and the buyer paid shipping. That came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, 344 pounds of jewelry. If you want to know how that happened, I do have a whole series, a playlist on this channel where I pick it up, I weigh it, and I have some what sold videos. So definitely go check that out. All right, this Pampered Chef item. Would I buy this again? No. And I'll tell you why. Because it was awkward to ship. It was really, really heavy, and it didn't sell for much. Um, and I paid five bucks for it. So I paid five for it and I sold it for 11. So those margins are not great. And the buyer was all in for 26 75 because it was so heavy. So I don't know. I, I wouldn't source for this. That's my opinion. The next item I sold are these vintage NASCAR racing champions, die cast race cars. And I got these at a garage sale for $1 and I sold them for $20. The buyer was all in for $25.50. The next item is this vintage door knocker. That is literally my title. If I remember correctly, this came from a garage sale a long time ago. It did take a while to sell, but I'm pretty sure it was in the free box. So my cost of goods was nothing. I sold it for $11.09 and the buyer was all in for $16.86. The next item is this. I love this one. This is like awesome. I'm like, what is this thing and why does it have a hole in it? So you guys, this is a, is it Geico? Yeah, Geico. Geico gecko lizard, but it's an advertising antenna topper. So it goes up on top of your antenna. It's so funny, right? And I looked this guy up and I was like amazed by the comparables. I'm like, sweet. And I bought him in a bag of toys, like kids toys. And I was like, I'm going to look this up. And I'm glad I did because I sold him for $28. The buyer was all in for $35.82. My cost of goods was probably around 25 cents. The next item is this Zoob mobile replacement parts. Uh, probably not something I would recommend picking up. Uh, it was kind of long tail and you know, sorting them and all of that stuff, it can get time consuming. I ended up selling these for $14.80. The buyer was all in for $22.24. The next item is this gold nuggets dimensions. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, gold nuggets. It's dimensions. Now, the problem with this was that it was used. So it was partially fin finished here. So is there a market for these items? Yes, there is still a market for it. Are you going to get as much for your item? No, absolutely not. I ended up selling this for a best offer of $10 and the buyer was all in for $17.74. And it says I had about 25 cents in it. And I think that came from a thrift store, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it was a garage sale. I think it was a thrift store because I think I bought two that day. So bread and butter big time but i mean it's used so just to sell it i'm like that's awesome because when i bought it i don't think that i knew that it was used 
but I only paid a quarter for it. So I probably didn't look. All right. If you made it this far, put, tell me your favorite item that you like to source your favorite bolo. And that can be bread and butter. That can be big money. It doesn't matter. Just what is your favorite thing to sell or source? All right, you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you for being here and thanks for watching.